Mark Tete and Marshall set to jump it up as USC in their black, Washington State in their gray. And the Trojans win the tip and it's Juju Watkins who will bring the ball up. Couple of transfers, new faces, some Ivy League prospects for USC. That is Juju Watkins. Tracy, we've seen this before in games where she starts and she'll take the first few shots and she's hot. That's what Juju Watkins brings, just instant point production for you. In her college debut, she scored 32, helping USC upset number seven, Ohio State University. And remember, she is just a freshman. Outside Washington State off the mark. And here comes USC. They'll take a quick shot and convincing and getting warm very quickly for USC. Warming it. There is Ledger Walker. They are really guarding her. Ledger Walker hard to the hole. Rebound USC. Padilla has a runner in Big B. Big B crossover dribble and she is fouled. Watkins just watch this puff fake and once she gets around the defense she just picks up the ball pump fakes makes the shot Forbes right out of transition here just bringing the ball up nobody's stopping and contesting that shot and Mackenzie Forbes you bet with the confidence that she comes in with she's gonna shoot and here's a player right here Tracy Warren at the line and Taylor Bigby who's been playing with a ton of confidence the Oregon transfers a 63% free throw shooter and right now USC is out to a 7-0 Ledger Walker, the Kiwi kid, can't find her rhythm yet, and here comes Juju Watkins. Over Wallet, got it! Rhythm shot, rhythm jumper. She just looks so good, and yes. Long range, short range, mid range, doesn't matter. Juju Watkins, she can do it all. Eleanor Villa, they call her LA, the freshman guard. America Tete double team down low. America Tete for the Quakers. As a graduate student, you can't stay Ivy, you have to transfer out, and it's been really a great gift for Lindsay Gottlieb, who has a handful of Ivy transfers. Ledger Walker trying to get some space. She is guarded by Bibby. Here's the double team. America Tete looks to Wallet. Great passing by the Cougars. Well, there's a big hedge there by Rhea Marshall, and Bella America Tete slipped. And when she slipped, she got the ball right about the second hash mark from the free throw line. And then Wallet made a baseline cut. That's just a beautiful play. Great ball movement, an extra pass, and a cut to the basket. Watkins pump fake. America Tete with the rebounds. 10-4 ball game. USC has been comfortably ahead early on. They get it into Beyonce B who kicks it back out to America Tete and she'll get whistled for the travel violation. Couple substitutions for both of these teams. And for Washington State, Alex Coville and Jenna Villa. Villa no relation to the other Villa. Akunwafu and she is fouled. They look good hitting in warm-ups. Charlie Sledger Walker's had some open looks from three. Clarice Akumwafu, 20% free throw shooter. Not able to convert there, but USC keeps the basketball. They'll reset the offense. Watching USC's practice earlier today, we just noted it, it really energized, wanting to kind of right the ship after two losses on the road against oh. Utah and Colorado. Watkins, good dish to Akun Wafu, just too deep. Yeah, just a, a heck of a pass there by Watkins, just a wraparound pass. Akun Wafu was ready, she just kind of short, shorted it underneath the rim. Beyond speed tries to go over it. Akun Wafu gets a hand on it. Juju yes. Watkins stutter step. Tracy, I just don't see her miss at the rim very much. I mean, the hesitation move, that hezzy is just so good. And once she gets around you, she just has so much control. Seven points for Juju Watkins. Jenna Villa scores for Washington State. They need to open it up. We were talking to Cami Etheridge, and she said, look, we've... We've lacked some confidence in the past, but winning three in a row has kind of helped us. 
if we can just sustain it. Well, Jenna Villa comes in off the bench. Really, really important. Mackenzie Forbes knocks it down for USC. She is the Harvard transfer. USC pushing. They got a two-on-two. -two. Juju Watkins with the basketball. Kicks it out to Big B. Alex Coville, six foot six inches. You see her setting the screen there. And trying to open it up from the outside. Good from long distance is Eleanor v Villa. And Lindsay Gottlieb wants a timeout. Most watched sport on a Thursday night last night with the NBA playing. Just a lot of fun. Fantastic. And two great coaches, Kim Mulkey, Don Staley, with U uh, University of South Carolina beating LSU. After the timeout, USC going strong to the hole, and right out of the timeout, Villa. Ledger Walker to the wing. Big rebound by Marshall. We have been looking for Rhea Marshall, as she is so athletic. There is Davis. Nice move off the bounce. Mackenzie Forbes just takes a dribble, a couple dribbles to the left, and you know, she, she's just a player that can continue to create for herself. And Lindsey Gottlieb said earlier in the year that she's a player that when Juju Watkins isn't in, she'll give us a bucket. But she'll also give you a bucket when Watkins is in the game. About a one-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Watkins. Got it! Wow! Juju Watkins, nine points in the first quarter. Really hard to do. Juju Watkins had 20 points. Colorado, she was hot in the first quarter. USC had 18 points in that first quarter. Juju had 12 of those. Right away, Washington State trying to go strong to the hole. That was Villa, but she was not successful. Drawing contact. There is Watkins. And the rebound, USC, up Washington State comes up with it. We were talking to Beth Burns. She said we could really use room for improvement on rebounding, and they are hustling in today's game. Watkins knocks it out of the hands of America Tete. And a traveling violation. Tracy, you saw her play last year. At the Big Sky Tournament in Idaho. What a fantastic talent. See if Ledger Walker can fire her team up. Some great defense by USC as they are keeping the Cougars on their toes. The kick out. There and they go. there's a sweet connection by Jenna Villa. Forbes in. Davis out for USC. There's a block inside by Wallach. Washington State is a little bit different against Arizona State. They scored the first 18 points of the game, a game they won 79-64. Yeah. Kayla Padilla, they say she's had to take on a different role this year. She averaged 17 points at Penn. She's averaging seven points with USC, but doing her job. Juju Watkins, counted and a foul. Again, doesn't miss a whole lot around the rim at the basket, but first we'll go to Padilla who knocks this one down. And let me tell you, she had a big shot late against CU with 15 seconds left to cut CU's lead to one. USC didn't end up winning that game. And then you see Juju Watkins pushing it. Tracy, she makes those transition shots at the bucket, even with a hesitation move, nine times out of ten. Juju Watkins, one of the few high school student athletes to sign a name, image, and likeness deal while she was in high school with Clutch Sports. And she has been on everyone's radar since she has been in high school as the National Player of the Year, a graduate of Sierra Canyon. I called one of her high school games, and in the first half, she scored all but two of her team's first half points. Nice extra pass. Wallach, got it. 
Honorable mention, All-American on Juju Watkins. Give and go to Marshall. Offensive foul. Ball it stretching this floor out. USC's leading rebounder, Rhea Marshall, comes out of the game with her second personal foul. Kaitlin Davis checks in for USC. Upping the pressure is USC on the man-to-man. -man. Really trying to get Washington State to turn the ball over. Five seconds on the shot clock for the Cougars. Ledger Walker needs a screen. Ledger Walker turns it over. And here comes the Trojans. Juju Watkins in transition. The Euro step. Wallach, size mismatch underneath. But quickly she is triple teamed and can't win the battle. Forbes. Oh, money. <laughs> Forbes just, she just came to play. She did a tough baseline jumper. She makes tough shots after tough shots, stealing the ball. She had four steals in 26 minutes of play at CU on the road. Somebody that is committed, no doubt, to the offensive and defensive end of the court. The Cougars trying to commit to the offensive end. They are looking for a bucket. Ledger Walker for three. Ledger Walker has yet to get on the scoreboard. She's 0 of 4 in total, but 0 of, 0 of 3 from downtown. Does USC's pressure defense have anything to do with their shot selection? Well, certainly, you know, they're going to disrupt people. They're not, USC is not the lockdown defensive team that they were last year where you just couldn't buy a shot. Oh, deep touch. Nice pass. And there is the connection. Marika Tete using that big 6-5 frame. Watching her progression through the years at Washington State. I mean, she was once cheered the most developed player two years ago. And then she became a leader. And now she's a leading scorer. That's a really good point. Now, she ran the floor on that one. She had her defender on her back. She held her there and then led her walk and looked up and one of the best passers in the league, she found her, led her to the basket and the finish. They need more of that. Shot clock at three. Forbes. Got it! Wafu <laughs> in as the ball is tipped. Juju Watkins, and a foul is called. She created that and made the defense bite. She just has this way about making the moves to understand how to connect and a rhythm player and then gets the foul and finishes at times. She didn't finish on this one with a three-point play, but a heck of a good free throw. Shooter. We talked to Lindsay Gottlieb about that earlier this week. And she said she was just absolutely so impressed with how they had the bandwidth to be able to fight back, come back and get in that game. A big reason why Cammy Etheridge was the National Coach of the Year by The Athletic last year is this team came out of nowhere and got a fire under them, akin to Cammy Etheridge when she had her playing days at Texas, and worked their way to the NCAA tournament. A fantastic show, and Forbes has it tipped as the Cougars starting to step up the defensive pressure. America Tete had a good look. She'll dribble into traffic around Akunwafu. America Tete is fouled. America Tete is the first Rwandan-born woman to play Division I women's basketball. America Tete helped the Cougars pick up their first offensive rebound of this game. They have been struggling on the glass. And a reach in foul. She will finish if she stays healthy. As the all-time leading rebounder, I'd be absolutely shocked if she does not. 875 coming into this match. Needed one to move into second. 900 to get her to first place. Well, with Juju Watkins in the house, they have had 
a full house, especially in the game against UCLA. Really inspiring. You think about all the steps they took to pave the way for these young players. Open look for Ledger Walker, couldn't connect. Oh my. <laughs> I mean, Tracy, we get a highlight reel from the first 20 minutes of this half of Juju Watkins. It's the ball, gets the rebound. You know, not exactly fast paced bringing it up, but just kind of surveying. And then a little bit of a reverse. She's got 20. 20 in the first half. Half of her team's points. Well, now more. Six, make that six of six. America Tete. Jump ball. Possession. USC. She's got one from Penn, one from Harvard, one from Columbia. Columbia. All of those players surrounding a Juju Watkins and a freshman kind of helping her transition from the high school to the collegiate level. Three second differential as Padilla is now going to set the offense in motion for USC. Watkins has it stripped. Uh, good pick up. Indeed, Davis. And that's going to do it. USC a commanding 43-25 lead as we go into the half. This is the largest lead of the game so far.